George Donnelly here, everybody. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Stefan Molyneux and his use of uh, uh, copyright to take down a couple of videos in a channel on YouTube, which has got a lot of people up in arms with reason. Um, you know, and Stefan appears to have admitted to it on the Joe Rogan show. So I, I want to, you know, I don't want, this is not the video where I'm like taking down Stefan and all that. I want to look at it dispassionately but first I think Stefan really screwed up here because not only did he use um, essentially government aggression copyright law the DMCA thing is copyright law not only did he use that um, to get some videos he didn't like taken down which is essentially uh, initiation of force which is violating the most basic rule we have in libertarianism but um, it looks like he also lied in his, in the DMCA, uh, in the copyright violation complaint that he filed. Because he says that he, he didn't, wasn't it taken, taking it down for the copyright, but he was taking it down because it bullied some of the listeners who had called into his show or doxed them or something. Mm, I haven't seen the evidence for that. I'm kind of skeptical on it. But anyway, so not only did he, he, he use aggression, but he lied, which is fraud, which is also a violation of the non-aggression principle. Um, and he even says that he previously told people they could use his stuff. So previously he said, yeah, sure, go for it, copy my stuff. Do whatever you like with it, yeah? So, but this contradicts it. So that's another element of some, it's not really contractual fraud or anything, but it's dishonest. Um, so that's another element of fraud there. So we got one element of aggression, two of fraud. Now, um, you know, uh, maybe perhaps from his point of view, he's saying that some of his listeners were bullied. Um, it sounds like bullshit to me. Uh, these people called into the show. Uh, what, what kind of bullying is this? Somebody made a cut that out of Stefan's video, which he gave them permission to do. And they said, ha ha, you look really foolish here talking about your personal stuff. Well, that's, that's not bullying, okay? If it's bullying, Stefan, then you should put together evidence for that and show it. Or, or really, just freaking ignore it, okay? All the Jimmy Rustlers and the haters and the griefers out there like nothing better than to have attention called to them. So, um, you know, add to the, to the NAP, the apparent NAP non-aggression principle violations, just bad judgment, okay? Um, now, you know, okay, so I, I've seen a couple of people say, Stefan must be ostracized. Stefan is a criminal, somebody said. You know, I hate it when people say things like, he's a terrorist, he's a criminal. That's just stupid, that's shortcutting thinking. Stefan Molyneux is Stefan Molyneux. He's always been this Stefan Molyneux and he always will be. Um, calling someone a criminal is like, you know, it turns off the empathy in your brain. It's like calling somebody a wetback or, uh, you know, a Jap or something, you know. It's, um, it's a form of collectivization, really. So, you know, if you want to meet what Stefan has done with, with more wrongs, you know, that's your call, but no, it's not going to add up to a right anywhere, okay? Now, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to yell names and scream and make overdramatic YouTube videos? And is Stefan going to say, well, I was right because I had to protect my viewers? Well, work it out. We're libertarians. We're anarchists. We're in favor of people working out their disputes outside the government system. <clears throat> um, so, uh, you know, Stefan, appoint a representative, injured parties, appoint your representatives, representatives meet, see if you can work out a deal. Um, if, if you guys can prove that Stefan caused you damage um, that can be quantified in some fashion, then ask him to, to make you whole. Uh, in a libertarian society, when somebody screws up, even when they violate the non-aggression principle, we don't all close ranks and the brethren excommunicate you and ostracize you. No, you have a chance to make it right, okay? That's what libertarian dispute res resolution is about. When somebody screws up, they make it right. 
and they can have negotiations between representatives, they can offer deals back and forth, uh, there can be mediation, there can even be arbitration. And so, um, you know, it, it, those people are saying that Stefan is a hypocrite for what he's done here um, with the uh, cop using copyright when he's previously said that, you know, IP, intellectual property must die. Well, here's your chance to show your anarchist colors, Stefan. Use the libertarian dispute resolution, resolution uh, method. Um, any of them. There are several. I'll put a link in the show notes to one that I've talked about. Um, you know, so anybody else in this situation, the proper thing to do is to call these people out and document it or just don't pay any attention to them, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, to those of you people who are calling Stefan out on his hypocrisy, good on you. Um, that it absolutely has to be done because there are many of us out here who have built him up, donated, recommended him. And we want consistent representatives of our philosophy out there speaking to the world on our behalf. There can be no compromise on that. But neither should we just sit around bitching about each other all the time. Work out our disputes. Be responsive. That's it. That's it.